Well, going everybody, it's me, MDC, the MDC here in MDCRX, and your friendly neighborhood pharmacist. And for this week, as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking a little bit about ED. And if you don't know what ED is, it's basically erectile dysfunction. So, erectile dysfunction is basically, you know, when you can't really rise to the occasion to perform certain activities of the sexual kind. Basically, I need it for be this, and it, you know, kind of just you know you get the idea no we hear about this a lot and you know people tend to make um jokes about this and some but it's actually a pretty serious issue it can cause a lot of self-esteem issues and you know it can cause a bit of depression in some people so we're going to be talking about it here today and we're going to be talking about some things that you might do on an everyday basis or you know a regular basis that you don't know might be contributing to any um erectile dysfunction you might have now you might not have the entire thing where it's like you can't really come up fully but you might find that sometimes you have issues probably getting up or sometimes you have issues staying up um those can be classified as branches of whatever you know <laughs> you can be classified as branches of some sort of ed and for the men out there who are not really you know having this as an issue you can always watch it to know you know what you are doing that you probably want to listen because you don't want that to happen to you in the future so either way you can watch it you know and it's not just for the men if you know you have a boyfriend and you want him for you know you want to know what he's doing that might affect him and then in turn you then you can always watch this or you can always share this to him or somebody else you know who might be suffering from the issue or might be at risk of suffering from the issue and then them can benefit as well and then in turn you can benefit yeah so as i said earlier there's a lot of little things that you can do that can um cause this issue or you know sometimes just cause you to not be able to get up or not be able to stay up and there's, yeah there's just a lot of things out there but in this video i'm just going to be talking about four of them just four of them because we can't go through all of them we are never done today so the first thing we're going to look at is a pretty common thing drinking too much alcohol so what you don't realize is when you drink alcohol certain things happen to your circulatory system such as your heart rate probably sometimes it slows down sometimes your blood pressure can fall sometimes your blood vessels can shrink instead of you know dilate like how they should all things that basically are necessary for you to get up and stay up so you constantly drinking alcohol now you're constantly getting those effects and what you realize is eventually you can't get it up or you can't stay up because those things are happening or well the alcohol is counteracting the things that you need to happen for that erection to get up so if you realize that you have an issue with probably drinking a bit too much you can probably just cut it down a little bit you know um and not even just for the ed for some other health issues but in this case let's talk about the ed if you know you probably have a little issue sometimes you realize that all right since what day i'm not as you know solid as i normally was and you realize that you're probably drinking a little more alcohol nowadays try cut it down if you realize that you're kind of full-blown have the issue try cut it down well i mean if you're full-blown have the issue go your doctor but if you're you know these things are just some things that you have to kind of int introspect look into and say right, i'm going to try and cut them down so if you know you're having any you know symptoms of it and you're drinking a lot of alcohol try cut down the amount of alcohol you're drinking all right all right if you're this far in the video just click the subscribe button the button supposed to be either yes or yes or you read if you read turn it gray or if the word subscribe red turn it gray Risk number two, smoking and smoking tobacco in, in this specific scenario. So I'm talking about smoking tobacco, not really talking about, you know, the other stuff, but talking about smoking tobacco. Now the thing with smoking tobacco is you now smoking cigarettes, you have a lot of um, risk factors of, a lot of things that will negatively affect your circulatory system. So you're gonna have something that's called atherosclerosis. That's one risk factor that basically is deposits along your blood vessels so that can cause impairment in how the blood travels to certain places example 
you know so having that build up of fat deposits and whatever deposits along the walls of your blood vessels especially in those small little capillaries or small little blood vessels in the member then you're going to realize that you're not going to have as much blood flow there or even if you have any blood flow at all it's not going to really be sufficient to keep both of y'all happy and engaged so as respects ed you definitely want to be cutting down smoking if you do smoke another thing we can watch out for is psychological conditions now i'm going to focus on three psychological conditions i'm going to focus on stress anxiety and depression so if you realize you've been you know a little bit more melancholy recently a little more sad or a little you know closer to the depressed side that can also affect um ed as well as anxiety if you're I'm just about the future, you know, you're probably fear for one job or you probably lost a job. You know, so an example of something that, that will make you anxious, you know, constantly worrying about the future and so on. And that now as well can also lead to stress. These three things um, psychologically can increase your risk of getting ED or getting ED like symptoms. So if you find yourself suffering from um, any of these psychological conditions, it's always good to um, contact probably like a therapist. Or if it's at a mild level, if you think it's at a mild level, you can always talk to um, someone that you trust, you know, um, or you can still go to therapy. You know, it's always a valid option for people going through um, psychological issues. So talk to your therapist, talk to someone you trust, confide in someone, you know, and there's various stress relieving programs, um, stress relieving um, music that you can listen to. Um, drinking chamomile tea can tend to calm you down if you're feeling anxious you know there's a lot of things that you can do so always um, talk to say your pharmacist or your doctor whenever you're experiencing um, psychological issues because they can go on to affect other things not just ED but talking about ED in this case so yeah those things can also cause ED or ED like symptoms and the last thing we're looking at is medication so actually yes so medication can cause ED um, there's some antihypertensives or some blood pressure medication that can cause ED or some antidepressants can cause EDs. I think they were saying that some antihistamines can cause um, ED so it can cause it to be not as strong, not as up, you know, just <laughs> all over the place. I think that's what happens. I don't know. But um, yeah, so certain medications you're taking. If you realize you start taking a medication recently and then you realize, say, hey, something wrong, no, something, not, no, something not click, then probably that medication is responsible. So talk to your pharmacist about the medication, ask them if that is a side effect, you know, or if you're just worried about it in general and you're going to start a new medication. You can talk to your pharmacist about it and we will help you we will let you know the low down about this medication if it's not going you know take anything away if it's not going add anything you know yeah and as i said there's a lot more out there there's a lot more things that can cause ed or ed like symptoms um some you have more direct things too that might be you know there might be something wrong with the member directly or something wrong with the blood vessels in there something wrong with the nerves in there as I was saying, if you realize that there's something wrong and it's affecting you really badly, affecting your relationships, affecting your performance, definitely go and talk to your doctor or your pharmacist about it. So yeah, that's it for the video this week. Thank you so much for coming this week again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to um, know some more about the topic, you can always just drop it in the comments. Or if there's something you want to know about, drop it in the comments and I will talk about it. That's something they are far. But yeah, as I said, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for coming this week. And I hope to see you next week again.